Hey you guys, uh, welcome to your career and your money reading for Leo. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs for June 2022. So we are going to take a look at your over energies regarding your career and your money for uh, the month of June. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what, you guys, what you could expect, what you could look forward to for the rest of June and onward. Apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified of when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, keep in mind that the collective message is for the collective Leo people, so I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So Leo, let's get started. Over energies for Leo. What is surrounding Leo regarding their career and their money for uh, June 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign for Leo. Oh, oh, wow. What does Leo need to know regarding their career and their money? What does Leo need to know regarding their career and their money? We have judgment here. So Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. Could be a situation that you're making a judgment call here, um, Leo. Wow. Seems like you have a lot of options on the table here. So I feel like you're trying to decide on um, maybe multiple offers. Maybe you're, maybe you're making a judgment call on product that you're making here regarding your business here. Okay. So... You know, some of you guys might create your own, um, I don't know, bowls or plates or something like that. You guys might do ceramic, something along those lines, okay? We have the Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups. Seems like you guys are overwhelmed, Cancer. Did I say Cancer? Uh, Leo. You might have cancer in your chart, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Uh, I feel like you just started this or something like that, or if this is like a new business or a new project that you're working on, okay? And I feel like you're you're burnt out. I, I feel like, you know, you have a lot of orders or something like that, but the products that you're making, it's not being produced fast enough here, okay? So you might have to make judgment, uh, like uh, some tough judgment calls here, uh, you know, regarding uh, this. Um, Let's see what else we have here. The Hangman, Piscean Energy, and the Knight of Cups here. Seems like you're, you're trying to see, see things in the bigger picture here, trying to figure something out. Seems like you're sort of like thinking big here, you know? Because I feel like you want to be able to fulfill all the stuff um, for... Um, you know, your clients or something like that, okay? Uh, the Hangman, Piscean Energy, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What else do we have for Leo? Tell me about Judgment here. We have the Nine of Wands. You're burnt out, Leo. The Hermit. Virgo Energy. I feel like you guys are spending a lot of time trying to figure things out. Uh, trying to figure out the logistics here because... I feel like you're 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 figuring it out you're figuring it out as you go here. So I feel like you know I feel like you started this without, you know, really a plan. It's sort of like you had an idea of a plan, but you just sort of like went into it full throttle here. Virgo energy with a hermit, ten of wands. Five of wands. Seems like you're dealing with a lot of people here. I, I, I'm just getting a sense that whatever product that you're making, these orders are not being fulfilled. And it's creating a lot of conflict here. Page of Cups, like I said, I feel like the orders are coming in, but you don't have enough manpower to fulfill those orders. We have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. There's just some rapid big changes happening in your um, in your business here or in your work here, okay? Maybe, um, you know, this thing that you started far met your expectations. It went beyond your expectations, okay? Uh, the hangman. We have the two of cups. 
We have the Knight of Cups. Oh, no. Knight of Cups. And the Page of Swords. Okay, so the Two of Cups here. Seems like you might be looking for help. Maybe you're looking to partner up with someone just to lighten up the workload. And, you know, you might be putting an ad up on LinkedIn or something like that to find someone. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy. Um, let's see what else we have here for Leo. What else do we have here for Leo? What can Leo expect for the rest of June regarding their career and their money uh, for their sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? What else does Leo need to know for the rest of June and onward? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. There's going to be some sort of financial struggle here. A lot of money is going to be going out. Not, not a lot of money coming in. Oh. We have the Ten of Swords in, in the reverse and then the Nine of Cups in the reverse here. You know, I feel like it's like something... I feel like you're telling yourself, like, this is something that you started and this is something that you have to finish here. Yeah, there is going to be some sort of struggle here. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy, and the High Priestess. So I feel like you're trying to s remain strong. Seems like you're strengthening your intuition, trying to follow your intuition here. Trying to do things on, you know, trying to make decisions on, uh, from your higher self here. Cancer of Pisces Energy with the High Priestess. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It just seems like you're burnt out. A lot of money is flying out, but not enough coming in. I feel like you're really busy. Like I said, I feel like you just started it, not expecting that it would, you know, be this big. And I feel like it just went beyond your expectations. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Three of Swords. Yeah. So I feel like there will be a struggle here. Four of Pentacles. In the reverse, we have the Five of Swords here. Yeah, there's going to be some mental discord here. There's going to be some stress and anxiety. There's going to be some fears here. Ten of Swords in the reverse. So this is a good time for you to reassess the whole situation and come up with a, a, a plan. Okay, we have the World. Yeah, it seems like something here, as quickly as it started, it, it might end very quickly here too. The Nine of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Just be careful. Yeah. Just be careful because now you have this knowledge. If you guys are in this situation, now you guys have the knowledge to reassess the situation. The strength card. Tell me about the strength card. High Priestess. Six of Wands. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is going to be very slow. This is going to be a slow, arduous process, but I feel like you will be very successful here. Okay, I do feel like you might have to work with someone here, find someone to work with, but I feel like you fear bringing someone in, okay? But I feel like you do need the, this, the assistance, Leo, okay? So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.